hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to add subtitles to any video in native android application using the media 3 exo player library so first of all i will show you the output i have this button called pick if i click on it i am able to pick any video which i want i will just pick one video and pay attention so here you can see i am able to display subtitles for this video now uh, the output is little uh, blurry because i'm mirroring my device but on a real android device you should be able to see it properly uh, the uh, subtitle is changing on my end but uh, due to i don't know why this is not really working so here you can see it did change sorry about the bad output but on on your side it should be perfectly fine now there are two ways to add subtitles you can either uh, drag and drop your subtitle file uh, to your android project but uh, i think that would be a bad idea if that would be only a good idea if you are playing a video which is uh, related to your content but if you are making a, a video player app the user can select any video from his, his or her device then in that case uh, you might uh, the user might select some subtitle file or he might need to pass some url so i will show you that as well that is pretty simple so here you can see you can either directly pass the url of the subtitle file you don't have to download it exo player takes care it takes care of uh, takes care of that for us and otherwise if we are hard coding subtitle subtitle inside our project uh, then also we can just pass that particular path even if uh, suppose if you want to down uh, suppose if the user has uh, already has a subtitle inside his device just like i'm picking video you can pick subtitle as well and then just pass that particular path over here so the code will remain more or less the same anyways let's get started so here i have created our android application now it is a xml layout application but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well firstly inside build.gradle.kts i have added this three okay we don't really require this so here i have added exo player ui as well as exo player hls then we have to refer this inside libs.versions.toml as well so here i have added this media 3 exo player dependency and here you can see i have added it for exo player exo player hls as well as ui so you can add these three dependencies and just click on sync now it will download all the dependency for you then if you are uh, passing a network url to download the subtitle you will require the internet permission otherwise if it is from user's device or if you are bundling the subtitle within your own project then uh, you don't require the internet permission also one more thing which i want to show you uh, so you will have to create this assets folder if you are if you want to bundle a subtitle file with your own application so to create this ad assets folder just right click new folder assets folder and just click on finish i have already created it and here you can drag and drop your subtitle file now there are only a limited set of subtitle files which are supported by media 3 exo player i don't think dot uh, srt srt files are uh, supported that's why i am using dot vtt but uh, suppose what if the user selects a dot srt file then you will have to check che check the extension first and you will have to write some helper function to convert a dot srt file to dot vtt file i don't want to go into that otherwise uh, the tutorial become will become extremely complex uh, that's why i'm keeping it simple uh, otherwise oh, or if the user is picking some subtitles uh, you might throw an error to the user saying that okay we only support vtt file or just use chat gpt on how to convert an srt file to vtt file using kotlin or if you you can do this on server side as well your choice next inside activity underscore main i have defined one player view to occupy as much width and height as possible and at the very bottom i have defined our button okay uh, then inside our main activity firstly i'll show you all these imports so these are the imports which i have 
and here we are taking exo player as well as player view playback position is zero play when ready is true and here i have defined our local video uri then uh, here we are initializing our input player view and on click of button we are launching this particular intent so new video picker which i have defined over here and we are filtering only by video so once the user selects a video i have that video uri i have assigned it to our local video uri and i initialize our input player and start on resume on it so if you see initializing of input player i can just make this as private so here we are creating our exo player then play when ready is true assigning our input player to input player view then we are creating a media item passing our local video uri then this is for subtitle configuration so we can pass a list of uh, subtitle configuration but mostly one video will have one subtitle so here we are just doing media item dot subtitle configuration dot builder now if you are passing a network url you can just uncomment this and comment this out okay but so it it's your choice i will just show you this a particular output as well uh, just in case just so that you believe me so this uh, vtt file like i just found it on a github but you can store it on your own server as well that doesn't really matter or someone else server that's also fine now this particular subtitle file which i will show is extremely small so uh, do pay attention to this so i'll just pick any video okay or why is this not showing up Okay, sorry the subtitle went away because i like i told you it was a very so small subtitle so okay i have picked the video again okay I, this is there's something wrong is happening with my mirroring it is not allowing me to mirror okay, i don't know why what's wrong with this i don't want to i can't really run an android emulator because it takes a lot of ram and my pc slow down anyways but you get the point right i don't know why this is failing for me anyways uh, uh, but here you can pass your url whatever you feel like if you don't have if you have bundled it within your application or if the user picks it from his uh, device you can use this particular uri dot parse but you will require the uri now to for in our case i have uh, dragged and drop it inside the assets folder right so for that i have created this particular helper function so to get a file from a assets folder we just need to pass the uh, name of the file with the extension so this is the sample.vtt and this is how we get uh, like we create a file out of it so this is this is what it is okay and then we just pass convert into uri and the mime type i have set it as text underscore vtt so here you can say said see what all different mime types have been uh, are supported so here you can see ssa and unknown i don't know what this is but yeah i think vtt is quite popular save is supported for ios that's why i'm using it language i have set it as english and i don't know what this set selection flag is okay and then we are just building it and here we are setting our media item to our input player uh, seeking it to playback position which is zero play when ready we are passing it as true and pe preparing our input player so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye